This is to change the uh, coil assembly of a Johnson 90 horsepower. What I have here for this screw is 3 8 3 8 um, socket. Okay. And uh, it fits perfectly. So, as you can see, I'm uh, taking this down now. Okay. Same thing with this. Okay, so this is a 3 8 coil assembly. So, this is the coil. Um, this is the coil that I'm uh, going to have to purchase, and we can take it in and uh, test this coil again. The coil really don't go back on the Johnson 90 horsepower. Okay, so this, uh, this coil um, has part number of 582508-31JL-OA okay so this is the coil um, from the Johnson 90 horsepower one of the four cylinders um, this is the terminal from power pack and this is the terminal that connects the spark plugs cable to uh, the spark plugs so this end fits a spark plugs cable and then the other end of the spark plugs connect to the spark plug. So the power pack of the Johnson 90 horsepower will send the um, power to here and then through this coil translate it into this coil here and sends a um, high voltage through this terminal through the spark plugs cable to the spark plugs and and then uh, ignite a sparks to ignite the gas in the cylinder to explode and uh, start the motor. So this is a 90 horsepower Johnson 90 horsepower coil assembly um, that's gone bad. So I'm going to check this one one more time before I uh, go out and buy the part for this um, coil assembly. Okay, this is my uh, Craftsman's multi-function meter. I set the dial from 0 to 2000 ohms. Okay, right now it's one meaning infinitive. So if there is, if this, if this um, thing is good, then we should have a zero, uh, zero, um, ohms on this thing for this um, secondary coil and it does you can see it goes from 1 to um, 7 6 um, let me do this you know the red terminal red terminal of the, of the multifunction to here and then the black to the to the metal piece to ground this and you can see 3, 1, you know, and that's infinitive and 1. And this one, once I touch the 2, see, it goes to, it goes to, um, Two one zero. Now it's zero. So this coil is good, meaning the power pack when it transfer the high voltage, this terminal will send the signal through into here, and this coil. We're gonna test it, this coil now. Okay, so that. It's nothing. So we ground ground this thing and nothing is uh, coming up. You know, so we know this coil assembly is bad. You know, because it's supposed to get us about 250 ohms, but right now it's nothing. You know, um, bottom one. I don't want to uh, disassemble this, but in any case, so you touch this. 
you touch this here and you touch anywhere on this just to ground this um, thing you know you should get about 250 ohm That's three, that's two, that's one, that's zero. You see? And then I take, check, check this, it's 253, 249 ohms. See that? The positive to here and the negative to here. That's 250 ohms, 249 ohms. So I just have the ground touch the metal piece, the negative from the multifunction test the negative. Um, and I get 240, 250, 251. You know, so this is the negative that connects to this multifunction. And this red thing is uh, the red connection to the red here. And when I touch this secondary coil, it's got me about 250 ohms, as you can see here. 251, 250, stabilized. You know, so this is good. This coil assembly is good. This co the, I checked these left-hand side, top and bottom, they're both good too. It's just this top one is bad, so I'm uh, buying a new one to replace this top. Okay. Top one, I want to give it a last uh, try. Nothing. See? Nothing. Let's go back to the motor. Okay. Nothing. 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 So this coil assembly is bad. I know that for sure.